Hello students, myself as assistant professor Nikhil Bosley from Computer Science AML Department, KIT College of Engineering, Kolhapur. Today we will be looking up with the Unit 1 8085 microprocessor and we are going to look up with the Lesson 7 Stack Operation Instruction. Here we will be understanding how the stack operation is performed with the help of a stack pointer. So the instruction we will be looking up here are so we will be understanding uh, first about the what do we mean by stack. So here uh, particularly in the stack the contents are saved in consecutive memory location whereas during the operation of uh, move uh, with the help of M or LDA, STA we were either adding or taking up the contents in random memory locations. Now for example, uh, if a student is doing a rough work, then he will be doing rough work in any random pages of the, of the notebook. While if he is doing some assignment or write up work and at that time he will be writing the contents in the consecutive memory locations or in the consecutive pages, right. So similarly we can understand that writing up the assignment or writing up the write up notes is the operation that can be performed through stack. If you are doing a rough work then we can do consecutive memory location performance. So stack can uh, either be also used as a WhatsApp application, right. So whenever we uh, some contents are represent in one of the message if you see okay we always get the fastest message first or the latest message first and then we get the old messages okay so stack is maximum used in very much operations okay uh, even in the stack we just need one memory location that is the location of the top of its top we will be looking up through the diagram here. So consider this is the whole memory location that is from 0000, 0, 0, 0 h to f f f f h. If we consider this much portion of the memory is used for the stack okay in which the location starts from 4500 h the next location after this will be 4501 h next location will be 4502 h okay this 4500 memory location will be stored in the stack pointer so what we can say the stack pointer represents the address of the top of the stack. Now is the stack pointer a 8 bit register or a 16 bit register? It is a 16 bit register because it stores the address of the memory location and we know that the address of the memory location is of 16 bit. The operations that are performed through the st from stack are basically push and pop. Other instructions like XTHL are is there, okay, which we will be looking up in the next slide. First, we will lo be looking up with the instruction named as push. Basically, push means to put the contents in the stack or in the top of the stack. Now, we will consider it through an example. If the location of the top of the stack is 4000 H, the next location is 4001 H. Particularly in push, 16 bit value is passed to the stack and that 16 bit value is represented by the register pair. We have seen that the register pair is either BC, DE or HL. 
So, if I make the operation as push B, that means B and C value contents are passed to the stack. So, now what happens? The stack pointer, okay, when it goes up, it gets decremented, right? So, the next value becomes as 39FFH, okay, and then the value of higher order address is passed to this location. Then again the value gets decremented by 1 FEH and the lower order address value will be passed to the stack. So, what we can see by the push operation first the stack pointer gets decremented by 1 higher order register value is passed to the to that stack pointer or to the location of that uh, stack pointer right and then the stack pointer again gets decremented by 1 and the lower order register value is passed to the stack pointer value uh, stack pointer right in the stack pointer uh, location the content is passed next we'll be looking up is the pop instruction now in the push we were pushing up the content from the register pair to the stack right in the pop we will be popping or taking up the contents from the stack to the register pair right so here again here we uh, use 16 bit register or a register pair which can be either used as bc d or h if I use the instruction as pop H as mentioned in the example, okay. So here is the H and here is the L register, right? So if the content in 4000 location and 4001 location is 83 and 45, okay. First, the content from the stack pointer okay will be passed to the lower order register pair then the stack pointer here what happens from 4000 to 4001 that means the stack pointer is incrementing so it gets incremented by one and the 45 value will be passed to the higher order register pair then the stack pointer again gets decremented by one and that represents the stack pointer location so, this is the operation with regarding to the pop. Next, we will be looking is PCHL. PCHL is basically used during the interrupt program. Okay. What do you mean by PC? PC is a program counter which represents the address okay, from which the instruction is to be fetched. Now, in case if there is a 16 bit value in the HL register, okay, which can be represented as a memory location pointer as M. Okay. So, if the 16 bit value of the HL register, which is a memory location uh, pointer, okay, that memory location pointer can be passed to the program counter with the instruction as PCHL, where the content of the HNL register is copied into the program counter. If the HL value is 8, 5, 9FH and when I use the instruction as PC, um, PCHL then the program counter value will become as 859FH right so the instruction will be fetched from the location 859FH so basically during the in interrupt instruction or interrupt programs PCHL instructions are used The next instruction we will be looking is XTHL where we will be exchanging the content of HL register with the stack. Okay. So, consider in the location as 5200H, I am having the value as 8FH and 5201H, I am having the value as F0H. This is about the stack. 
and in the register okay uh, of hl i am having the value as we'll take it as 9fh and e0h 9f the 9f is exchange with 8f first okay then e0 will be exchange with h right so basically the exchanging of content of hl register with the stack register value is done so what happens first the stack pointer value okay will be exchanged with the l register the stack pointer gets incremented by one as we can see through the diagram and then that stack pointer location content will be exchanged with the h register okay so this is the operation with regarding to the xt hl next is sp hl okay here it loads the content of hl pair to the stack pointer again this instruction is used as the inter for the stack where or we can represent the we, we have to uh, for example in a notebook if i make three uh, separate section for the classwork or if i make uh, three separate assignment of three separate separate course in a notebook so uh, for the first course i will be using 10 consecutive pages okay for the second course i will be using uh, i will be giving a gap of three or four pages to locate and then i will be uh, using the second course as another 20 pages then i will again make three or four blank pages and then give uh, the third course so similarly in uh, uh, for uh, what what happens uh, the hl pair value will be passed through the uh, stack pointer in which the stack location will get changed and the consecutive memory location values will be uh, stored in the stack so sphl uh, instruction again uh, can be used for the interrupt uh, programs so this is the end of uh, lesson 7 we will be in the next lesson we will be understanding about the timing diagram of 8085 thank you